hell is that? Wow. I'm stood next to this thing. I can't. It's absolutely massive. I can't even get it all in frame. Dude, it's a wreck. It's actually the train that's on the outside. This is insane. Right, so we are mounting up, ready to leave. So this was our traditional Japanese house for the night. Got the sliding doors and everything. It's got like a dojo mat. I don't even know what you call it, but it's that kind of mat in finding dojos. Yeah, it was really nice. Had modern twists like the beds. Normally it would just be mattresses on the floor. They've kind of westernized it a little bit. They spoke pretty good English. But right now we're going out to hit three to four videos today. We hope anyway. It's going to be a busy day. Let's go and get it. Ever since seeing those monster spiders, I'm not even going to lie, it's really worried me. It even says here, insects come into the room. Please close the, as soon as, as you open it. But yeah, these, these boys always leave it open. So yeah, this was our surroundings last night. And you can see why there's going to be birds and stuff. There's a lot of forest around here. We survived the night, no birds. <laughs> and boars. No bears today. But they can come at me though, I'm down to wrestle. <laughs> yeah, because we wanted to actually walk up here last night because there is a shrine apparently. But she said no, no, no. And she, she made, she went, she went, I was like, oh, birds, and she's like, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, birds around here. All right, we down to hit some spots. Yeah. Today's the day. Today's the day, boys. Time to work hard. Okay, so we are on location, but look, we're in the mountain still. So again, I will say birds are a real worry. Birds and boars, that's all I, well, spiders as well, maybe snakes. Um, I don't know, there are some venomous snakes. We just gotta try and explore this safely, get the job done, you already know. Exploring with Josh, Harmon Vlogs, let's do this. You guys already know. Yeah, we do. $2,000. I mean, 2,000 yen, 2,000 yen. Actually, I think this might have been this might have been like peak hours, and this is non-peak, so yeah, almost 2,000. So that'd be like uh, 13 pounds. 13 pounds for us, 1,800. 1,800. The rain's starting to come down a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to come down. Yeah, it's starting to come down. It's starting to rain, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, wow, it's quite cool down there. Oh, look at the old street lamps, they're really cool. They dotted all down here. Maybe it was, oh well, wait a minute. So I'm not sure what time it goes dark here in the winter, but in summer, it's, it's like right now, August, it's pitch black by 7 p.m. UK, pitch black maybe 11 p.m. So I'm not too sure what time it would go dark in winter. But yeah, you've got these lights anyway. I would have loved to have seen this like at night lit up. Wow, look at that view. It's absolutely amazing. We we are really in the valleys right now. But I'm going to tell you a little bit of history about this place. So this was opened in 1983. Actually, it eventually closed down in 2006. Now, the reason is very vague, but I'm going to give you my I'm going to give you my theory on why it's closed down. It's because it's in the middle of nowhere. I mean, who wants to come this far up north driving for hours and hours down all these little valleys? To get to a theme park when there's many other theme parks to choose from that's why it closed down and i'm not sure i think hey josh what what year did the disney disney open in japan i forgot but disney is what closed a lot of theme parks yeah that's what i'm thinking that's what i was thinking i'm giving my kind of theory on what happened but i think if disney opened up around the time 2005 2006 that would explain why this closed down because it did once disney opened many of the theme parks around japan closed down and became abandoned 
and around Japan there's so many theme parks that are based so I'm, wait a minute, wait, I'll start from the beginning because this is super, super interesting. So the Japanese government realized the Japanese want to start traveling the world. So what they did is they opened up many, many, like 20, 30 theme parks. And every theme park was based on a location around the world. So we're actually gonna go and visit the Canada theme park soon and the German theme park. There's theme parks from all around the, theme parks which are themed on locations around the planet. And it was all done so the Japanese didn't have to leave Japan. How crazy is that? So you're gonna see many theme parks on this Japan trip and every one of them is based on a different country. Oh wow, there we go, first sign of water parks. But what, how cool is that history? That's really, like, I would never have known that before and uh, when I did some research, I found that I was like, I was shocked. It's like some kind of big chalet. We'll take a look at that soon. The water park. The water park? Oh, wow, there's like a clock over there. So, yeah, it is like a village. So we're gonna cross this bridge, head over to the water park section. But it sounds... You're right, you motherfucker. What? It sounds like a train, it's loud. Oh, whoa. Whoa, watch that. Like watch that bridge, bro. Wow. The trawl is under the bridge. Oh, the bridge really is collapsing. Yeah, it is. Wow, this bridge is not safe. Oh, uh, yeah, it is collapsing. I don't even want to walk across the middle. We got across. Oh, Herman's just going the easy way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Screw> that. <laughs> I'm going to take a look up this area. Well, it looks kind of like a start of a pyramid. I mean, that's got to be one big spider to create a kind of big spider web. Yeah, it's a big, big spider web. There's nothing down there. I can't get down there anyway. It takes us to that bit. It would have been a bit fur. I don't know, maybe there was animals in here. Because there's a staircase there that goes up to here and go on top of here and maybe jump off. I don't know if there was animals, seals or whatever. It doesn't look very deep though. I oh, look, that's like a fun slide. I love water parks. I love water slides. I'm going to uh, Santa Park soon for for Christmas with the family, and I love the I, I love the water slides. Uh, this one has pretty much completely fallen apart. What have you seen? Oh wow! What is what is that? It's like a giant. It's like a giant steam train. That's what I thought it was, but that means if it is, I think it's part of uh, the guide map. We've seen. Oh, okay. Train. I'm gonna take a guess. I'm gonna guess this is the restaurant. Maybe it kind of looks like one, and I can see cooking oil underneath. I think it's a restaurant, bro. Huh? I think it might be a restaurant. Yeah, I don't think I need to do anything in this building. Yo, fancy ducks. Fancy ducks. <laughs> Such a massive building and there's just nothing in it. But there's some treasures down here. I already know it. Let's go and explore. You already know the score. We're adventuring together. I think there was a train down here. Ah, the clouds are rolling in off the mountain. Might get a bit foggy down here. Real Silent Hill vibes. 
there's like a, a tunnel of some sort over there, overgrown. I look at this little house. I'm not sure what that would have been. Maybe a ticket office? No, it can't be a ticket office. I don't know. A ride must have been here at one point though, for sure. Oh, it looks like there's a train over there. Actually, I think this must have been a go-kart track or something. Oh, what the hell is that? Yeah, that's a bomb. Hold on. Come here. The realism of predators just got real. I don't know, I've not been close to it yet, but I want to get your opinion. It looks quite big. Is that a bone? Yeah. I just found another bone too. Really? Oh, but not that big. Yeah. What is that bone thing? Like a boar? I don't know, bro. That is a huge But look, bone. what's this over here? Another part. Another part of a bone as well. So something. Do you think that we're next? Something got savaged here and, well, savaged and brought here to be eaten. Just got to keep our wits about us, honestly. An adventure room. Oh, all the doors are sealed. Oh, there's a door over there, I think. Ah, it's, it's empty. empty. Mm. Must have been for like kids or something. Yeah. Coloring books. The hell is that? Wow. Man, it really is a train. <laughs> but that's massive. Are they that big? No. That's no. Not, not, I was going to say, because what the heck? That looks like a, a train right out of an anime. For real. There's a big silo here. That thing is massive. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, you can see the size difference when Josh gets closer to it. But it's actually not, it's not real. It's, it's part of the building. This is actually a building, not a train. It's amazing. Oh, we have more stuff over the bridge down there. I wonder what's inside this. Let's go and find out. I'm stood next to this thing. I can't. It's absolutely massive. I can't even get it all in frame. It's huge. So we couldn't get inside the big train place. Um, there's only one way in. It was a smashed glass window. It wasn't like new age glass. It was old glass, which is sharp shards. We tried moving a bit of it. It was just too, too solid. And obviously we don't want to we don't want to destroy things more than what they already are, so we avoided it. It was too dangerous. <laughs> My concern was if if we'd have started climbing through this window, yeah, it would have been possible. But if we'd have seen a spider like dangle on us, and we'd have like made a sharp move, jolted, and got stabbed in the back by a big spike of glass, I'm gonna avoid that. As you can see here as well, uh, footprints from the Japanese yeti. Uh, so yeah, we've got to really watch out around here. Just walking along here. Imagining what it used to be like crowds of people flowing through this bridge Into having an amazing time in the park Now it's just a wasteland taken over by nature and animals I really find it amazing how it just sits in pure silence most of the time 99.9% .9 of the time Apart from when people like us arrive, the place lies dormant, completely silent. Apart from maybe the occasional growl from a bird or a snort of a boar. Ah, but look at this. Here we have a map. So let's try and figure out where we are. I'm looking for the. Oh, so there's the water park. I'm looking for the train. Okay, there's. Oh, there's a train. Okay, so. We're walking, oh we're walking up here then. Yeah, we're, we're, we're walking up here. Oh no we can't, yeah we are. This must be the end of it. So we gotta go over. No, can't be right. I'm struggling to get my bearings here. 
we just walked past that. It looks like we're coming to the end of the park. Maybe we have to backtrack again. But I'll take a look around here just in case. Wow, this building's falling down. Yeah, it's just completely dropped and fallen down. I think it actually takes you out of the park that way. Let's head back because I think I actually think this is the end of the park. So we need to go on backtrack and find the rest of the rides if they're still here. And don't worry, I am looking inside these. Most of them are boarded up. Some of them got entrances, but they are completely empty. A lot, a lot of these are just ticket stands, uh, restrooms, and little cafes, but they're all empty. Actually, wait a minute. I think there's stuff up in in the trees up there. I did see a set of steps going up there, but it was absolutely overgrown. I can just see a a white thing in the background behind the trees. Maybe we've got to take that bridge across to get to that section. So you already know I have a good sense of smell, my aromatics, I, I like aromatics and I could smell smell as I was walking down here uh, because of the rain bouncing off objects, I could smell a lot of the greens but I could smell this tar smell and it reminded me of smoke when I was younger and I, don't, I couldn't place what it was but it's actually these, these timber sleepers, train sleepers and they must be coated with some kind of tar and it's really bouncing the scent off it. It's, I don't know if that's weird. Is that weird or is that just me? Do, does people, do, do you like smells like that? I don't know, it just kind of trigger memories for me. We're on the opposite side of the bridge now. Uh, we was over there with the collapsed roof. So let's go and see what we can find over here. I'm not sure if there's gonna be anything because I did think this was the end of the park, but it's worth a look. To be honest, it just looks like a, like an infant's playground. You got a whale. Some tree thing over there. Toilets here, and I can't really see there being anything else down here. Another area. Nice cross through here. Up the stairs, and we'll get to it. Sucks. Actually, you know what's you know what's funny? This is the original map. Yeah. This is the original original. I know. And the newer one's fallen off because that's a newer map. Oh, I didn't even see this when we're standing on it. That must have been the newer one. Yeah. And look how look how different it is compared to that one. I know. The visuals are a lot better. I mean this is overgrown. I'm not saying it's dangerous, I'm just worried about obviously when it's overgrown the spiders. Let's let's go and take a look. I don't see anything yet, bro. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. It's not going overgrown. Uh, bro, we ain't going this way. No? Uh, no way. Why? It's overgrown. Okay. On another level. Right, back down it is. There is so much more to see in this park. So we literally have to exit the park, go across a huge bridge. It takes us to another part of the park. I actually think this is more of uh, a younger audience park. And over that side, is the adult park. Let's go and find out. You want, you want to cross past there? It kind of freaks me out, man. I mean, you could end up in Silent Hill. I don't want to. I mean, it kind of seems cool, but it's freaky, man. That's, that's where we really get our fears reconstructed. Reinforced. We, re we reinforce our fears. We have to cross this bridge. So this is the top side of the train. We don't know where Harmon is. I hope he's not being eaten by a bear or a wild boar. That'd be a shame, because he'd have eaten the car keys too. So we've been walking for a while and we still have a while to go because it's right down there we need to go to. We need to walk down this abandoned road, just like Silent Hill, and hopefully get to it. I mean, the rain is coming down here, but I don't mind it. It's Japanese rain. Everything's good about Japan. We're starting to see more of the camp here. Maybe, maybe it was a camp, maybe it was like an annual place. 
Yeah, so apparently this is the way to go through the wilderness. Again. What? Shows here. This, again, I don't know. We have to get down here. Oh, it's an amphitheater. Yeah. Alright, so after an hour or so walking, we finally arrived at what looks like a really traditional house. And we believe it's abandoned. Yeah, no, it's abandoned. I can see. Anyone read Japanese? What does that say? That's when you know you in a rural part when there's no English on any signs at all. Yeah, unfortunately it's locked up. Yeah, they can't get in. But the search continues, let's go. That shit is sealed, bro. Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna go down the other road. Oh wait, what's that? It's all falling apart there, bro. Oh no, it's just the roofing. Yeah, it's like that, yeah. Almost like a shutter, huh? Yeah. Man, that's a lot of work in the it's a rock slides. I mean, I don't even know where we are right now. There's a lot of cars down there and coaches. I really don't know where we are right now. But it seems like there's something here that's open because there's cars. There's a guy on a motorbike there. But then, obviously, this road is not used. Is this meant to be flooded? I, dude, I don't know. The only place I've been trying to go through this whole time is this. I don't know what it is. We're almost there now. Let's go. Yeah, we messed up a little bit. <laughs> the orange thing we saw, we thought was a ride. It's actually an active building. I had no idea what that is. But yeah, this is not part of the abandoned theme park. No idea what this is. Looks super interesting though. It looks like a transformer. Actually, the crazy thing is, the clock still works, it's the correct time. I just realised that. Oh, we found more bones all over here. Something went down here. Interesting development. So, obviously, we went over, walked miles that direction. I mean, you can just about see yeah. that orange bit in the distance. Walked well past that. All active. So, we're back nearly where we started with the big train. Harmon has been inside, he said. Guys, you've got to go inside. There's real trains in there. And it looked like there were people stood inside the trains. I was like, what? He's like, just, you need to go in and look. So we just bumped into a Japanese explorer and he said, I've opened the door. <laughs> so he must have climbed through the glass window. Yo, quick, can you hold this one second? Yeah, so we're going in. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. Okay, okay, now I see what's up. It's a re it's actually the train that's on the outside. This is insane. This, this old steam train is just here like this. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, there's another one. Oh, they scared the hell out of me. There's a, there's a mannequin stood there. Look, there's an actual mannequin stood on the train. Wow, this is insane. Okay, now this was worth it. This was definitely worth it. There's a good to have a woman though. And a guy. Wow, he's pretty creepy, and he's lo he's losing a hand. This is a real train museum. This is insane. Wow, look at this.
Wow, this is amazing. I can't believe this is left here like this. This must be worth a fortune. That's so, so cool. Oh, and this is where all the coal would be. All the coal in there to power the train. That's another steam train. Oh, 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 that's scary. Oh, what the hell is going on there? That's weird. It's half a child there. This is actually what it's legitimately like on a train in Japan, apart from the half a body. Oh, he looks real. Wow, these are really realistic. Pretty creepy. And a lot of them are missing a hand. I wonder if we can get inside here. Yeah, that's scary. There's another steam train here. Again, pretty much the same setup. The furnace here, the coal chute here. Wow, this is actually really amazing. I mean, who would have thought in this broken down, abandoned, being taken over by nature and decay, you would have this perfectly pristine train museum full of mannequins. I would have never ever have guessed that. Right, we're going on board. Look, this is legitimately scary. Scared Josh. Oh my god. Wow, this is wild. Look at this. Oh! <laughs> Dude, what the hell, man? What are you scared me for? <laughs> Yo, this is creepy in here. It, it is a little <laughs> creepy too. I mean, this legitimately looks like what happens on a normal, regular train. A yeah. Apart from this, of course. I don't know what's going on here. It's like we're allowed to walk through and see like how it was, you know, so and so years ago. But this is still how it is today, though. This thing, like, this is straight up anime vibes right here. And it's funny because the girl is always sat staring out the window. She doesn't really look at anyone else. No. Nope. She just stares just out the window. Out, thinks about boys outside the window, bro. Oh, this look is a you. nice find. Oh, a suitcase. Oh, it's empty. Okay, who's doing who and all these different things in it? Oh my gosh. Wild. Oh, all right. This guy. This guy feels real. So, uh, there's your hand right here, huh? Don't, don't give him his hand back. You know, you think that's, come to that's, life? Yeah, it's the piece that brings him back to life. I'm not doing it. That freaks me out. Yeah. That freaks me out. He's, he's actually looking right, right at us. <laughs> it looks so funny from this point of view, bro. <laughs> from this point of view, it's funny. Like I'm just pointing a camera yeah. in a but guy's face. it's like face. they can all hear us. Like they're frozen in yeah. time. He looks so rich. He's got a glisten in Dude, his eye. Dude, they eyes. took the hat. They took her hat and put it on this one. But I should give him his hat, her hat back. She's looking at him like... There we go. You need to show me more attention. You're always in your book. I mean, these are so well dressed. They've even got socks and shoes. It's like they're fully equipped. They're on a day out. These these two are on a first date. You're you already tell he's looking a bit nervous, and she's like staring at the roof. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. That was super exciting. We had to get out of that uh, train area just because someone else. Oh, in. we're good. Why? He's just the old guy from the bridge taking photos. Oh, holy fuck! Dude, I got freaked out. So this was absolutely amazing. So happy. We actually, I can't believe we nearly missed this. I mean, we almost walked out of this theme park, 
missing this. I can't believe it. So glad we found it. So glad we came inside. So many cool trains. Well, there's two, two absolutely amazing steam trains. Probably right from the Industrial Revolution. Good job at I know. Well, it's not a replica. Yeah, this is a real deal, right? Yeah, this is a real yeah. deal. Look at that. I mean, a whole railway right here. The whole train tracks and everything. The crazy thing is, as well, this is actually, it's, it was restored. This was a restoration project, a, a complete restoration project. And it sat here, left along with the other one there, abandoned. And that is the replica of the steam train that's inside. Two of the steam trains inside. I would have never have thought coming across this building, even though it's constructed and looks just like a train, that there'd be two really rare steam trains inside. 40 year old uh, Japan guy, super chill, super cool. Uh, straight up Japanese, and he has a white a wife here, and he made his wife wait here as he goes on together. <laughs> but look at, look at, look at, they, they so hid their car behind here in the bushes, exactly how yeah, we did. Kind of and he's it's just like, okay, that's my wife in the car, she's very angry with me. <laughs> but he, was, he just had to get the pictures, man. Totally Dude, that's gonna be me yeah. on the future, yeah. and you, yeah. and you. Someday, man. Yeah, someday, someday all yeah. of us, One our day. wives are gonna be waiting as we're inside the <laughs> abandoned place, and they're just stuck in the bushes hiding. Unless they wanna join. The dream is, guys, to find the wife who's gonna join. Uh, right, we're back I, I, sorry, at the beast. Uh, I'm gonna end it now. Make sure you tune in for the next episode because it's either gonna be an abandoned Japanese yeah, hospital or an abandoned Japanese yeah. school. You ain't gonna wanna miss that, believe me. That was sick, guys.